Hello everybody, you're welcome to part 17 of our series on world history. This series is for anyone who is an African or those who believe in God. So we started from creation and we intend to finish until the present day. So we have gone to everything up until 70 AD. So what we're going to be doing in this part, basically that's what we are learning today, we're going to look at over 20 reasons of scriptural, historical and observatory reasons to believe that Yeshua has returned and that what we call the rapture has already taken place. Also, we'll look at contradictory opinions that you might have. This is very important, the rapture. At return, okay, next there'll be a Magadon war, you reign a thousand years with some people. There will be a short season of deception, bring them together for the Gog and Magog war, the white throne judgment, there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. So note that there's difference between millennial reign, which will happen on the earth, and then the, the final time when there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. The coming of the rapture is different from the white throne judgment. That being said, let's begin. Reason 1. Those who pierced him will see him. Next. Some who are standing with him, like he said, will not taste of death. He said this generation will not pass. Some even say a generation is a thousand years. A thousand years have passed since then. Now, number 4. Yeshua told the Pharisees that they would see him coming in the clouds. So, reason 5. Yeshua said they will receive the Holy Spirit and they will be witnesses to the whole earth. So when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom, kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, Ye shall receive the power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the earth. He said they would do that. Reason 6. The scripture said the gospel has been preached throughout all the world. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard and which was preached, past tense, to every creature which is under heaven. It didn't say is being preached, it said it was preached. But it said the antichrists are already come. Even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. Daniel said the vision is for a long time. While the Gospels and the book of Revelation, they say that the same vision will happen shortly. So if Daniel, which is around 550 BC, said that the vision is for a long time, and if in John's time, which is around 66 AD, that's about 600 years apart, the fulfillment of the vision is called things that must shortly come to pass, and then the vision cannot remain unfulfilled till after 2080. If you tell me something will be a long time, you see 600 years later, you tell me that it's going to come to pass shortly, at the very worst, maybe 599 years should pass. But it can't remain unfulfilled till then, it's not, it's not, it's not possible. 10. There's a large number of times the book of Revelation speaks of urgency and it says the word quickly. The things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. And behold, I come quickly. Things said, surely I come quickly. This person then responded, even so come Lord Jesus. Reason 11. Apostle Paul's popular rapture scripture addressed the people that are reading at the time, except the Apostle Paul himself also erroneously and thought Yeshua was coming in their own time and that he was wrong. So 1 Corinthians 15, 51-53. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and at the last trump. And we shall be changed. If he was talking about that he himself would have died, he would have said, and we who are dead shall be raised incorruptible, and those who are alive will be changed. No, but he said, we shall be changed. So now, reason 13. The prophet said the day of the Lord was at hand, but the disciples said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This reason 15 we want to look at is fairly controversial. Some people have different views about it. So now let's take a look at it. There is this thing called the gap theory. And what is the gap theory? After the 69 weeks, there will be a time when weeks will not count. After the 483 years, 69 weeks, no weeks is going to count. But do you know the problem with that theory? The scripture does not promise this kind of gap. And I'm saying that with due respect. Even the statue itself, the legs literally has to be cut off to make up that. Or you elongate the toes to go this long. Even the statue itself will go out of proportion. Now, another problem with this theory is that this way everything is just open ended. But this is what apparently what everybody believes, you see. You wait until something happens here, and then you say, yes, yes, the week has started counting now. And then maybe that will flop, and then you wait again, no, the week is not counting. I think we missed that. Okay, and something else will happen here again. Oh, the week, the week has started counting this week, or what have you, it started counting now. So, in order to support this belief, it becomes necessary to place a gap between the 69th and the 70th week. In Daniel 70 weeks in order to make everything fit their eschatology but it was not it's just it's not there as far as scriptures is concerned Yeshua should have returned around 45 around the time we know as 70 AD but as far as scripture is concerned 
you should have returned by then. You would have to read meanings into scripture, come up with your own gap theory or what have you to, to come to a different conclusion.